Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a very exciting project. We're going to design a minimalistic, pocketable 3D printed case for the Rack Wireless board, the model 19007. I will show you an example of the board. Here is the 19007 Rack Wireless board for which we're going to design a case. This case will be sleek, practical and the best part, no protruding parts and no protruding antennas. So let's get started. The Wack Wireless 19007 is a versatile and robust board, but like any other electronics, it needs some protection. As you see here, the board has not an easy shape, and so the case has to be completely custom made to also accommodate for the, the screw holes and on the back to pass the connecting wire to the battery that will power the board and also to accommodate this factory-based antennas. So if we want a small compact case, I don't want big external antennas. I just want to reuse these uh, factory antennas, but I don't want them protruding out of the case. I, and also I don't want to impede the transmission signals with a bad uh, design. So we will try to design this on a CAD software, the free CAD software, and I will show you how that works. The goal of our case design is twofold. First, it needs to be minimalistic. I want to be able to put it in my pocket or in a shirt pocket and not being annoyed by a huge bulky case like what I've shown in previous videos like this one or like the Tic Tac box or even worse, the uh, solar node, which are huge cases and these are not easy to transport uh, in your pocket, obviously. Also, we want a design that is simple and straightforward without any unnecessary bulk. I've started sketching some initial design on a FreeCAD software that I will show you now on screen. Okay, so we display here the 3D view in FreeCAD. We have uh, here the top lid. The top lid will consist in a clip which we'll insert in the back of the case and two screws um, for the front to close the lid. On top then of the box itself, the box itself is uh, made so that we can insert first the battery in this area at the bottom with a little uh, passage for the battery cable, the two screws for the lid, and then what we have built on the side here are two spaces to insert uh, vertically the two PCB uh, antennas, the one for Bluetooth and the other one for the lower frequency itself. And then at the front, we see here a USB slot for the USB connector of the board. So we will not use the top connector of the board to connect the battery. We will connect the battery uh, through the bottom with a little uh, female connector that will be soldered on the back of the board. I will uh, show that later on in the assembly part of the video. And then the little uh, slots that you see here on the sides are made so that the coax cables of the two PCB antennas are not crunched uh, and can be folded with um, uh, certain curvatures so that we don't crink these cables. There you go, that's how it uh, looks like. Now let's take a look at the printing process. When choosing the material for the 3D print, I opted for simple PLA because PLA has revealed to be the stiffest and the strongest material, also the most easy to print. And for a pocketable case, it doesn't need to resist UV or any special chemicals. It's also light enough to not feel like a brick in your pocket. And I've tried the PLA CF, so for carbon fiber uh, version. Uh, this is even better because it makes for an even lighter case even with better uh, proportions, better dimensions more exactly. It keeps the dimensions when printed better than PLA does. Okay, so we have our printed parts. I decided to assemble the black lid printed with the carbon fiber PLA on the white PLA. That makes a nice mix of white and black. And we will assemble the parts uh, inside the case. So we need obviously the board. For the board itself, since we will connect it to this battery, in principle, the board should be inserted uh, in the case like so. And then the battery should connect on the top connector. But since I wanted to minimize the volume of the case, 
I decided instead to solder a small female connector on the back of the board so that I can first insert the battery like so and tuck the wire and the connector inside the case at the bottom like this. So now I will insert the board by tucking the cable not to smash it and I have to let the screw pillars free because that's where the screws will screw the lid on. So as we can see we have a perfect alignment and we will tuck the antennas. So to tuck the antennas there is a, a way to do this. So like so we have tucked the antennas on the side walls and then by holding the antenna cables we can insert the little clip here into the back like so the clip is inserted on the back and then for the front the two pillars have to be inserted like so and there you go so the box is completely assembled and now what's left to do is to insert uh, two screws the length of the screws here uh, must be at least uh, 12 millimeters long or 15 we would go through even 20 would go through uh, because the um, eight of the case is about 21 millimeters and there you have it that's the front side with the usb port the back side with the clip and there is the finished product. As you can see, the case fits the 1907 board like a glove. It's compact and the antennas are neatly tucked away on the side in uh, specially made uh, areas on the side of the case. And it is incredibly lightweight and very compact and very sleek. This is what I wanted to be able to put it in my pocket. There you have it, a minimalistic custom printed case for the 1907 uh, Rack Wireless board, which is one of my favorite meshtastic boards. I will be putting the link to the STL files in the description below, so please check that out if you want to print your own uh, case. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like button and uh, drop your comments below. We will see you in the next one. Bye bye!